Another key element of ageing is, uh, is the accumulation of advanced glycation end products, or AGEs. And these are the, uh, the result of exposure to sugar. So that inside all of our bodies, we have a constant level of sugar. But we also have a relatively constant temperature. And so as a mixture, a mixture of sugar and temperature and other proteins and other things to interact with, it's kind of like cooking. And eventually we are all going slightly brown the same way that toast does, the same way that cooking meat does. Except this process is much longer inside of us because of the lower temperature. But the same way we recognise that on toast, the higher temperature on the outside leads to crust and the lower temperature on the inside leads to soft and pliable. We now know inside all of us that rather than higher temperatures, higher glucose levels inside our body actually lead to more crustiness in terms of the development of ageing. And we now know that, for example, the lack of flexibility in skin may be partly attributable to the way that sugar has modified the skin to make it less flexible. In fact, you only need to take a, a young child's hand and put it in warm water for a while. You'll see it comes out like a prune, nice and um, uh, bent over and wrinkled. But you do that with an old hand and put a hand in, it doesn't wrinkle at all. And that's a marker of the lack of flexibility. And part of that is instilled by those advanced glycation end products, changing the way that collagen works. 